Goldie here and today we are doing another test of the scimitars of the chic plate. Uh, this time it's going to be on Peter Mayavia, High Chief. Now J-Man approached me uh, when this plate came out and we were kind of uh, spitballing who the plate could be good on and he mentioned Peter Mayavia. He had him at four star gold. He did a video. He earned the plate that weekend in the contest. Um, and he was wondering what he would look at a five star gold. So I said, well, I, you know, happen to be able to borrow characters for stuff like this. So, J Man, I don't think you're going to be disappointed, my guy. This is, uh, I think you knocked it out of the park with this suggestion. Um, it's going to be really good on him. I just, I'll just say that now. I'm not, it's not a spoiler, obviously, but like you haven't seen the numbers yet. But, this is an excellent choice for the plate. Uh, so I'm going to run the same moveset twice with a diff fairly different setup. The first time I'm going to do it without Gooker, because uh, I know he's kind of hard to get. Like, I know the plate's hard to get too, but, you know, Entourage. Going to try to keep it simple. Uh, so the moveset we're going to be running is green one, green two, purple two. So green one is his finisher, the Samoan drop, 10 MP. Deal 159,159 damage and choose a 1x7 area to swap into red gems. Green 2 is the Spine Jab, 2 MP. Deal 70,004 damage and swap a 2x2 random area into purple gems. And purple 2 is the Hip Throw, also 2 MP. Deal 70,004 damage and increase your green MP by 2. So the thought process here is that the spine jab and the hip throw are going to keep reloading each other while only slightly moving the pin bar, and that way you can stack the plate damage onto the green moves. Entourage, we're going to use Kevin Owens and Gold Dust for more green move damage. I don't know if Gold Dust is still gettable. I don't think so. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, not... No. I know how to make videos. Listen. Uh... Huh. Green finishers, green submissions... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Change of plans. We're gonna use Godfather instead. Because I don't think you can get gold dust anymore. So let's try to keep this like available. And we'll do Godfather for this. And then when I bring in Gooker, I'll bring back gold dust. Um, so we have a better idea. And this means my math is like completely fucked because I took out 15%. But whatever. Whatever. Kevin Owens for 45% more green move damage. Godfather for 30% more green move damage, Acro J for 10% more green move damage, and we're going to use Zombie Charlotte to get more purple gems on the board. So hopefully when we hit this 2x2 two two area, it'll clip a purple gem, we can get a 3 match and not completely explode things. Um, so we're adding 45% and 30, so 75, we're adding 85% uh, green move damage from the Entourage alone. Um, and for the belt, you can see on the screen, I have the, uh, this, the screenshot of the belt with the green move percentage at 337.3%, I think it's small. Um, I have a 200% metal. I'm using half takedown. So that's 215%. And I have a 12.21% for my substats. So 327% damage from the belt. So 85 from the Entourage, 327 from the belt and substats. And then 100% from the plate when we stack it. So we went from a base of 159,000 on the finisher to 656,000. 
and on the spine jab, we went from 70,000 to 288, and that's before we even start stacking the plate. So even if you don't have gold dust or Gooker, like it's still super doable. Uh, but I'm going to run both just to see the um, ridiculousness of the numbers. So let's see, let's see what we can do. I love everything about Peter Mayavia. I wish I had him. I'm like 400 shards away. That would have been a good get. Uh, so, a little bit of move reduction on the opponent. So, 627,000 for the finisher, 276,000 for the spine jab. So, we're going to start with that. I'll take that because we have the hip throw. And that's going to give us back some green MP. So we're up to 346. I'm gonna stack it again. Hopefully not cascade, but get a purple match. Or not. You know that works too. Um Okay, well I'll just we'll just do that then and load everything up. So we're at 416. Hit that again. Oh yeah. Now we get the purple match. 677. Now we could play with fire here and try to up it one more time, but we're already on our second turn, so we're going to lose some of the stacking. So we're going to hit the finisher that's at 1.1 million damage. That's crazy. Um, and we'll put it there. And like, is he going to kick out? No. Obviously, gem damage with the finisher, not the focus here. It's the fact that we're beefing up the finisher as much as possible. And even with a bunch of cascading, he couldn't kick out of a 1.1 million pin. Okay, so let's try that again, but I'm going to change up the entourage a little bit. All right, so we've taken out Godfather and Zombie Charlotte, and we've brought in Goldust and Gooker. So we're adding 125% uh, green move damage with this entourage. So now the finisher's gone from 159,159 to 358,108. And the spine jab has gone from 70,000 to 157,509. Uh, before the belt. With the belt, we are at 720,100 on the finisher and uh, 316,937 on the spine jab. Um, so he does have a little bit of move defense, so it's going to be a little less when we get in a match, but let's go see. All right, so he's reduced us to 691 from 720, so not the end of the world. Uh, let's go ahead and get rolling. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Move the pin bar. Move the pin bar to us. Take that four break. Move the pin bar to us. Damn it. Okay, that works too. Okay, so we have one stack up to 374. And as a reminder, it the plate, when it says 100% move damage, it's not going to do 100% of the 720. It's going to do 100% of the 159. All the boosts are going to add up together and then be applied. So 125 from the entourage, 327 from the belt, plus 100 from the plate. That's going to be 
what they take into account. It doesn't stack all of the boost and then add a hundred percent on that because that would be insane and a lot of characters would be broken. So keep that in mind. So we got one stack, we're at 374. I should have brought props for science. I might I might do that again just to see how insane we can get it. So we're at two stacks. 444. A lot of purple on the board, so I'm a little nervous. Oh, that was that was a friendly bounce. Friendly bounce. So that's three stacks. At 514, a stack of fourth. Don't do anything. Nice. <laughs> Are we gonna go for a fifth stack? Is that is that what we're gonna do? Is that what we're gonna do? You know what, YOLO. Woo Lord! All right, so we've stacked the plate five times. So the 2MP is doing 654,000 as opposed to 316 before the match started. And the finisher has gone from 720,000 to 1,487,046. That's crazy. That's crazy. Y'all, this is the plate for Peter Maivia. This this is the plate for Peter Maivia. That's wild to me. Um I'm gonna do it one more time and I'm gonna bring props just in case. Let's bring in some props because this has so much potential, like so much. Oh, I'm excited, okay. So, 720, right, okay. Ah, this is gonna be great. So last match, we got the finisher up to 1.48 mil. So we're at 691k. And the record is 1.48. So let's see if we can get like super greedy and get it higher. Of course. Of course. And we'll stack it as much as possible this first turn because we'll get a second. Hopefully he doesn't pin us. So stack number two. There's a pin. But we're hoping he doesn't pin us so we can start doing it again. All right. So moving on, we got two stacks under our belt. Stack number three. Props. Because I want to, I want to see. Stack number four. We got to five stacks last time, so. Stack number five. Ah! Ah! 
Yeah, that's what we got to last time. So we're gonna see if we can do this once more. <laughs> uh, do you ever just feel like you're playing with fire and you get that pit in your stomach? Like, ugh, I want this to work. Don't do anything stupid. No! Alright, we got up to six stacks. For 1.6 mil. That's... That's crazy. That's crazy! 1.64 million damage on the finisher. Like, yeah, we used a prop, but we did it for science. And then, like, he's... He's got no health. So, good night. That is wild! That is absolutely wild. So, I've tested this plate on Damien Priest, I've tested this plate on Zombie Edge, and now I've tested it on Peter Maivia. And... This is my favorite by far. Um, do you have anybody you want to see the plate on while it's in my possession? Uh, let me know in the comments. Again, J-Man, thank you so much for the suggestion. I hope this um, gave you some insight as to where you should put the plate. And if you honestly, if you don't put it on Peter Maivia, then this is all a waste of time, right? I'm kidding. I love you. Uh, go follow Great J Man on YouTube at Great J Man Gaming. He does videos like this too. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. And thank you for being a friend. Put it, put it, put it, put it.